and as usual. Stay triggered. Pew pew. Pew. Alright everybody, let's talk about the cosmic joke that is Gilliam. Now, he reigns from the country of Manislesia Theocracy, and uh, he's one of the knights you can choose to actively play as. If you want a real, real challenge, this is your go-to guy. He's essentially the Langeborg of this game. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and play Grand Edition or Legend of Forcina, and you'll totally understand what I'm talking about when I say he is the Langeborg of this game. Now, he... I got him in this file up to level 25, right? His intelligence is still only 77. It's, <laughs> you might say, well, that's great. Yeah, that's great, but not for level 25. So yeah, not the greatest. Hit point wise, he can survive attack or two, 563. MP wise, this is, the intelligence and the MP are where you're gonna kind of understand. You're gonna see so many other leaders with so much better growth, just so much better everything than this guy in particular and you know you can see like his growth is at c uh for you know um the rune and all that the character growth is terrible it's at e e is very very low on the totem pole uh s is the best a is second best and b c d and e i don't know if there's an f but if anybody deserve an f well guess what I'll give Gilliam an F+, plus because he's about that range. Like, he's not... Honestly, he's just not that great. So let's just see kind of what he's all about. At this point, you get Heavy Strike as a Cardinal, which is 100 power damage, like I was just saying earlier with uh, the Rudo updated video that I just did with um, talking about is Rudo OP. Power for your attack is 100. That's basic. That's very, very basic. That's the usual damage for just, nah, meh damage, you know. That's just kind of how that goes. Get a tiny little boost in accuracy. I don't even know why you get that. These guys aren't even supposed to be built to fight, but you do get it, and that is a thing. Good thing about um, getting up to Cardinals, you get Airy Heal, which is 147 magic, but as you see with the MP we, right, we have right now, if you'd minus 147 from that, you are probably doing an airy heal and then maybe one heal and then he's pretty much out of juice. So, honestly, there's not much gas in the tank and there's not much uh, forest for the trees when it comes to his intelligence. So, I wouldn't really, you know, uh, holster your... Um, I, I wouldn't really, like, hit your, hit your wagon to this horse here if you really are looking for something in performance. I just don't see it here. He has a Veil spell, which I think is totally useless, and unless there's a certain situation where you're going with one knight in the front and you're up against the barrage of spells, maybe it might help. I hardly ever use it. Uh, loop Heal, fantastic spell. So this is almost useless, and this is needed so much you wouldn't believe it. So I would have to say if you're really trying to use him as the best capacity possible, probably stay away from Holy Word because it's 198 MP, and as we know, that's practically all his MP, and he can only do one more heal from that point, if we're doing math here. Because 198 out of 299, well, you'll be left with about 100 MP left, so that wouldn't really work out right. But what I was trying to say, and I got distracted, don't mind me, I, I tend to do that, is loop heal, 40 MP. So if you want to use Gilliam the right way... No, I just crossed out 40. Oops. What, probably the right way, and I would say probably the best way to play uh, from a balanced perspective. Like, you want to use some characters in a balanced perspective and really get the best use out of Manus last year, right? Put him with Rudo and put Loop Heal on Rudo the whole time because what this does is this gives the target that you put this on 10% of their max health, not current health, but max health. So if Rudo, let's say, let's go back to Rudo for a second just so we can kind of like get a reference point here so we kind of know what we're talking about, right? All right, so, so here's the thing. This is your current HP. Most of you already know this, but your max MP is the total value. So 10% of 927 
would be 92 hit points back every turn. Almost a full heal. Almost. Now, that's nuts. So, a loop heal, and it does it three turns in a row. So if you're not damaged yet, but you know you're in the front line, and you know you're going to get damaged, you get damaged a little bit, they take off 90-some hit points off you, boom, all comes right back. Because you're getting 92 hit points back. Because of 10% of 927 rounds out to 92. Now, maybe they might have some modifiers where the 7 rounds up and it goes to 93. I don't know. You let me know if you see that. Um, but that's just my point to passion here. I'm just going to say that right now. Just so you get a good reference. But the point is, when you do loop heals, and if you want to use this guy the most effective way possible... You want to put loop heals on monsters or leaders that have massive, massive hit points. Because the more hit points they have, the more loop heal is better for them. And that's the reason it was designed. So you could put it four spaces away. You could stay comfortable in the back line, not get hurt too bad, and put it on the front liners where they're getting banged around a lot. And they get a small just underneath a basic heal four turns in a row so if you want to use this guy the most effective way just constantly be putting on loop heals and how many loop heals could you get out of this well what is 299 um, divided by 40 let me get a accurate calculation here just so just so I can tell you so if we have uh, 299 divide 40 would be 7.47 times so I don't think you can round that up but you get 7 loop peels off this guy so do the calculations yourself if you don't trust that um, if you got a better calculation for something as far as how to optimally use him definitely let me know if you found a perfect way to use him but I'd have to say the majority of the time you probably want to use loop peels for this guy because just doesn't have the intelligence to give a good heal in the 80s or 90s a, a fair heal but loop heal isn't based on your intelligence it's based upon the targets hit points they're total hit points they're absolute hit points so for a guy with very bad intelligence that can't heal you very well very bad mp that can't really get a lot of heals or a lot of magic going Pretty much he's just going to be the backliner loop healer guy. For me, that's kind of what I try to turn him into. Now when I look at it, I think about it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of makes sense. So, uh, yeah, you get the holy word. You can do that if you need to. You know, if you have to get a kill, sure, go for it. You got the heals, you got the cures. And uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much this guy right here. So what is his background about? Well, his name's Gilliam, male, 56. At this current point, he is now a cardinal. The high priest of Manus Lysia Theocracy. Through, though an excellent mage in his own right, which I highly doubt that, he treats young, talented younger mages harshly in order to keep his position secure, sometimes even stealing credit for their achievements. Needless to say, he is not well liked. His devout man, this devout man, has a large family. He intends to stay in, it, in his position as high priest for another 10 years to support them. He sometimes proclaims himself as the top mage of the continent, despite once being soundly trounced by both Jew, Norzalia Kingdom, and Mua of the Republic of Gamal. This guy is quite literally the cosmic joke of the game, and if you want to put him with the right character, I would have to say you could probably field a team of just Rudo and Gilliam with the right kinds of monster builds and the right types of tactics and do pretty well, because he could just stay in the back and loop heal all your frontliners and... It's not based on his intelligence, so you can scrap that idea of like, oh, he's got bad intelligence, he's not useful. You could use him as just Tim and Gilliam. Or not Tim, Bob, sorry, Rudo. Brain fart. Um, but yeah, that's essentially Gilliam in a... In a I don't know what to say, in a what. Uh, but that's Gilliam there. And use him if you want, or have him as a glorified quester so you can get some good items. Whatever you want to do with this guy, you let me know in the comments down below. I <laughs> I use him as I see fit. He's not the most amazing guy. He's not the most endearing guy to me. His background, his story behind him sucks. His character sucks. And his growth sucks. And everything about him kind of sucks. 